What's up, everybody? It's Mark TV again with another podcast. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Today, I got Lindell and JR. Yo. Yo. So, today we're going to talk about an interesting question. No offense to anybody that feel like this, or that is like like this, before I even start about talking about this, because I'm not going to get canceled on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> is it cheating if your girlfriend is with her gay best friend, her gay male best friend, and she's shaking ass on him? Yes or no? Is it cheating if you with your gay girl best friend and she twerking on you? It's a yes and wrong ass for both. That's the, that's the, yeah, it's the same thing. It's a lack of respect. Man, it's boundaries, man. Yeah, yeah cause, mm-hmm. cause if you was if you cool with it, you gotta look at it from the other aspect. Is she gonna be cool with it do, being done to you? So if the role switch for how a motherfucker gonna feel for them, and that they shit. not gonna fight. No girl gonna get the tweaking with you. Like, why the fuck is you doing that? Why the fuck you letting that bitch shake ass on you? No, now nah, that's a problem. But when you was just shaking ass on folks, it wasn't. It was all cool and dandy. <laughs> it's crazy how the world operates. Yeah, be, yeah. That's yeah, that's exactly what this shit Should be crazy, shorty. Cause this motherfucker. This motherfucker I had talk to on Instagram, they really think that shit cool. That's not cool. That's that's not that, yeah, that's some goofy shit. Motherfuckers think Fuck. if they not overdoing their part, it's That's you already know. doing your part, what the fuck? Goofies. Once again, goofies. Then that, that, that somebody else stated it was like Ain't me entertaining no goofies. Then this what well, this 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 motherfucker made me actually think about the question even more. He said it's different when folks say it's different with the female because you know some of them don't even be gay for you. I told him that so I was like you don't even know half of these niggas gay for you. Some of them niggas just got feminine ways. So mm-hmm. just be with bitches. <laughs> mm-hmm. He be like so yeah you got a point but. Exactly. So now nah, stop being one sided and try to be biased about the conversation, fam. Motherfucker gonna be mad, fam. And if you don't think that shit, I don't know. That shit. Mm. Yeah. Me personally, even I'm treating it, the shit out of somebody. Even if it, even if motherfuckers don't consider it cheating, that shit's still disrespectful and weird as hell. Like you grinding on your like you got a whole nigga, you grinding on somebody. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> Like, like that shit just cool. Come yeah. on now, what is you doing? She look like the nigga at this point. They probably think that is the nigga. Literally, that shit's insane. Man, the next question is: with the way today's world is, and the way men are today, when it comes to women, how do y'all feel about y'all girl? Giving out her number instead of saying no to the nigga that's trying to get her number. Y'all understand the reason behind her not saying no and giving it out, or y'all don't y'all don't see that real reason for real. Cause somebody, I seen a video about the shit. She made a point, but then again, it's like a fifty-fifty ball game. She said she give out her number every time because. Niggas is crazy, and a nigga might kill her if she don't give up the number. Right. Which I understand. But then again, it's like, I want to be mad, True, man. but I can't really be mad. Because I'm mad because my bitch is giving another nigga her number for me. In reality, she don't have to give him a real number. That'd be the thing. Um, another thing is, even if you do give a real number, you got the power to not reply. They were saying that too. Some of the girls were saying like they just give it out. They get the call or the text and they just block them. Yeah. Like you, what are the odds of everybody doing that? They're fucking slim to none. <laughs> that's that come down to do you trust your girl? Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> and I mean, if you trust your girlfriend, then yeah, she should be able to do that because that's the right thing to do. 
same way you should be able to do the same. Yeah. That shit is crazy, though. This one okay. is the point. You got the you got more power to say no. Like, bro, in all my days of ever thinking about trying to talk to somebody, bro, I never like if you motherfucker gonna tell me no, I ain't never think like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this bitch. Let me punch this bitch. Like that is insane because you get the mad is insane. Let yeah, me go for the like, like for you to think. First off, it, motherfuckers fail to realize like a nigga hit a woman, you strong as fuck compared to them. Like you gonna fuck them up if you even do the slightest little thing. Literally goofy, bro. That shit's fucking sick. Niggas can't take rejection. They be salty. Real niggas don't get rejected. <laughs> 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 Is he lying though? Real niggas don't get rejected, so niggas that get rejected ain't real niggas, so they be mad. Now that you just said that, let me ask you this question for you. You in a situation, you you shooting at a bitch, right? Uh huh. Uh, right. You yeah. ask for a number. You just keep that. You ask for a number. She don't give you her number, but she said you can have my Instagram. You think you you pulled her? No. Or you got curved? No. <laughs> I mean, I'ma let I let people know today, face, bro. We're grown. If you can't give out your number, <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, bro. Like, I don't even be asking for my phone number because I don't be wanting everybody to have my phone number. So, like, for you to, I have to really want your phone number. I'm gonna see what motherfucker talking about before I ask for your phone number. If I'm coming up to you, I'm asking for your phone number. There's no way I'm gonna walk away with social media. That just don't make sense. <laughs> No, I'm gonna ask for the social media first. But I'm trying to think, like, cause like the way I use a walk up to a motherfucker. I gotta figure. I gotta have a motherfucker at least somewhat figured out before I like, use. Before I, you feel me? I usually get that. If I get your line, I'm on that. Off the rip. If I get the line, I'm on that. Like, if bro, you ain't ask, no, ain't no small yeah. talk once I get the line, bro. No, so like, we low key got a valid point. Cause you know what I'm saying, I go so on. A, say, so say I go how on. A, you, I get the so, I said? get the I get the social medias first, and you peep a motherfucker out, and you see you see who all the mutual friends is. You figure you get at least a little insight before you you feel me. Not even you, that. You try that's to the you try crazy, to see bro. what you getting yourself into, type shit. You know, because you can because nine times ten, you not even on that. Because what if you what if you just what if you look. He said, I gotta do the whole. Nah, he said, <laughs> he said, he said, you don't gotta do 